Hey friends, it's time for calendar again. So let's do our days of the week song. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And also Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Today is Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. We, so let's see how many days we've been in school. So what we're going to do today is count by fives. Are you ready? Um, let's go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Now let's add one more day for today, 56. We have had 56 days of school. So there are six ones and there are five tens. Five tens and six ones make 56. We're getting closer and closer to Uriah's birthday. Our birthday graph will stay the same today, as will our birthday board and graph. Let's do devotion. You dishonored God by breaking the law, wearing the uniform of Christ. Julian's dad was admiring his son's new jacket. It had the name of their church across the back. Julian was on the church's basketball team. Mr. Evans told us to take off the jacket when we don't act like a Christian, said Julian. Mr. Evans said the team was the team's coach. He wanted to be sure the team didn't disgrace God or the church. I think that's a good idea, God said. If people see you do something wrong in your church uniform, you, they might think less of God. And that's true. The Bible says that breaking God's law, law dishonors God. In a way, Christians wear God's uniform as long as they can call themselves Christians. When Christians do things, people don't just say, look what you're doing. They often say, that's how Christians act. If you do something that breaks one of God's laws around, those around you may wonder if you're really a Christian. They may even think that God permits sin. But when you're honest and polite and friendly and helpful and cheerful, people see that too. They may not only say, Marcy is the nicest girl, but they might say, Christians act differently. I wonder why. I'd like to be one. People who love God don't want to dishonor and disgrace him by breaking his laws. Jesus has promised to help us avoid sin, and he gives us the Holy Spirit to guide our actions and make us children God can be proud of. And remember, this shouldn't just be about our church, but think about if you've got something that says East Fork on it. Maybe people would say the same thing about people who go to East Fork School. So think about that. Let's pray. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen.